All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Parent Night. I'm Miss Knowles. I teach math and science. Um, let's go over kind of what our agenda is. Um, so we'll have our little welcome. I'm going to give you your class expectations as long as well as my dress code or the school's dress code, um, what the attendance expectation is, kind of what we're learning right now, um, what my grading guidelines are, how to contact me and um, schedule a conference if that is something you are wanting to do. So hi, welcome everybody. I'm Ms. Knowles. Again, I teach math and science. Um, this is my eighth year in education, but my very first at Miller. I just moved from the DFI. W area this summer, and I'm super happy to be in the Houston area. Um, I'm a parent myself. I have two little girls. They are ages five and one. All right. So um, as you can see on the slide, I expect my students to follow our behavior guidelines. Um, this is basically saying they're going to be respectful. They're going to treat everybody respectfully. Um, anything against that, there are consequences. Um, I do have a reward system where they get tickets and they can buy things. Um, I expect them to complete their work in a timely manner. Anything they don't finish in class has to go home. Um, and I expect them to actively listen and participate during my lessons. Um, I expect them to keep their desk and area around their desk clean. Um, one problem that I'm having is not everybody's bringing the supplies that they need. They need to bring a pencil and coloring supplies every single day to my class. Um, I use them at least in science or math, at least once every day. So um, please make sure that they are bringing those supplies. Dress code, um, just a reminder, they're allowed to wear a plain collared shirt in navy, red, white, or hunter green. Um, jackets can only be plain black, um, navy, red, white, and hunter green. Pants, um, shorts, or khakis should be no short, shorter than the knee, and they should be khaki or blue. Um, please note that the light blue and the yellow shirts are not allowed in intermediate, which is a change from the elementary level. Uh, attendance. Please make sure your student is at school every day unless they are sick. Um, please do not send a sick child to school. Fevers of 100.4 or higher, um, vomiting, diarrhea, things like that. Please don't send them to school sick. Um, keep them home um, when they're sick. And if they're going to be out for more than a couple days, uh, if you could just like let us know what's going on, because we do worry about them. Um, so right now in math, we are currently learning fractions. So we'll be adding them, subtracting them, multiplying, and dividing them. So we're going to be doing a lot with fractions. Um, and then we'll be moving on to decimals after that. So that's kind of like our next few weeks. Um, science is matter and energy this whole semester. Um, things like, you know, light and electricity are coming up. Right now we're learning about mixtures. Social studies, we're gonna be working on colonizing America um, and the American colonies, American Re revolution. Uh, so um, right now we are talking about um, exploring and colonization like the next week or so. Grades. Um, every subject, I give out one homework grade a week and one classwork grade every week. Um, I know the beginning of the school year, we didn't quite have that, but now that we are fully into our curriculum, we are definitely doing that. Um, I do one quiz and one test for every unit. So if there's a new unit in math, we do a quiz and a test. So one for science, social studies, and they're not all at the same time. Um, so the units, some are longer, some are shorter. Um, after I give an assignment four days late, it is a zero. Okay, so make sure your students are doing their homework on time. Homework is due every single Friday. Um, unfinished classwork is expected to be done for homework. So again, I said, if they don't finish what they're supposed to do in class, unless it's my fault that we run late or we run out of time, then um, your student will be expected to do that at home. Um, and my contact information, so uh, my email, uh, is the uh, whitney.knowles at aleafisd.net. Um, I usually respond the same day if it's Monday through Friday, unless I am out sick with either myself or my daughters. Um, my phone number, you can call the school's phone number. And then my extension, my direct extension is 24222. Um, uh, please feel free to call or email me regarding setting up a conference or if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, my planning period, so this is typically when I will call you or call you back is 1.30 to 2.15 every day. Um, sometimes I have meetings during this time. So um, again, just feel free to reach out if you need anything from me. Um, gladly help um, with anything that I can help with. Um, you need help knowing how to help your kid with their math homework, let me know. I'll send you some um, notes or examples. I don't mind doing that. So um, again, reach out if you need anything. Um, I'm looking forward to 
hearing from you guys and the rest of the school year. It's been an awesome group of kids and I'm just so excited to be here. Um, thank you all for your time.